Okay, it's three o'clock. I know, I know your neighbor, neighborhood, <laughs> you know what to talk about. Anyways, it's me, LH Music, and you know what that means. It's Everyday Agenda, episode three. It's a video podcast. I I could explain it everything to all of you people, but don't worry again, said uh, you get video podcast. And if I go to, um, oh yeah, podcast mode for this Everyday Agenda podcast from YouTube, and um, that's what we're going to do. And yeah, yeah, you guessed it, Everyday Agenda holiday podcast special. So I'll give you the sneak preview about this one. So you just had to trust me as far as we're concerned. So uh, anyways, I hope you ready. I can't say because here comes every Everyday Agenda. Agenda. We'll talk about, um, you guessed it, the one and only uh, holiday uh, thing, you know, say history of Thanksgiving. And that's why last Saturday, me and my dad went to that, um, mm-hmm, that's right, that uh, uh, Veterans Day lunch with with Ray Bass. And I was there, so was, so was my dad for this last Saturday's Veterans Day holiday. And, and take it from there, so who knows? Give me some last stuff about this one. So, hope you're ready. I can too. So, while we get, just get started, shall we? So, here we go. Mm-hmm. Well, I turned the power on. Yes, here it is. <clears throat> Everyday Agenda Podcast is a presentation of Angel Song Productions. Okay, you know what it is. I know I have returned, but I have not done yet because I'm taking Christmas off. You know, it's all about you know what I'm saying. Anyways, it's Everyday Agenda Podcast, episode number, uh, I can't figure out, number seven or number eight, whatever it is. Anyways, let's get this show in the rough, shall we? Let's get busy, shall we? Okay, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to my Everyday Agenda podcast. Hope all, all of you have a wonderful weekend as much as we all do. Well, guess what? Last Saturday, in case you missed it, as I said this, we have no music, we have no clue. So I leave this alone for now. But who knows? We got uh, Odyssey. So so you just trust me all this for as we can start. But like I said, Last Saturday, uh, me and my dad and Uncle oh, Ray Bass went to that um, Veterans Day lunch at over at Applebee's at uh, in uh, Bellevue, Nebraska, and um, I think we had a wonderful time. And I remember the, remember the days about Vietnam, so veterans or veterans uh, all you know walks of life, and you know what I'm saying. So I'll explain that, um, you know, so, uh, trust me. Thanksgiving. You know, next week is Thanksgiving. But you, and take time with your fr- family, friends. Spend some time going to churches for this Thanksgiving service and have a Thanksgiving dinner and all that stuff. So but what about the time that the history of Thanksgiving comes it just reminds us about this one so who knows give us the list about this one so who knows he's alive anyways uh, i'll explain this with a little bit of history of thanksgiving and uh i just thought in my head and you might think it's also about christmas and new year's well who knows give us the list but i give you a sneak preview of you guessed it everyday agenda it's called you know all two holiday episodes, specials, whatever it is you know what I'm talking about. 
It sounds like Charlie Brown Christmas or whatever happens or anyone to do it. So I'll give you a sneak preview of my everyday agenda holiday podcast specials really look like. So I'll do that as well. Trust me. And my final thoughts and, you know, talk about it. Anyways, Everyday Agenda is on. And you know why? It pays to be nice to people. And I, I bet it's episode seven. Yes, I know episode seven. And it could be the winter, uh, winter, uh, fall, winter finale of whatever happens. Fall finale, you know what I'm about. So we're taking some time off. So I got OSC celebration. It was my uh, <laughs> church thing and uh, at resurrection and segment there. So who knows who's the last about this one? But I'll but I'll explain this. You know who I give you the whole information about. You can download it or whatever happens. Trust me. Anyways, let's get started with episode seven of my everyday agenda podcast. So hope you're ready. I can too. So here we. Go. Wow, you might think it's so smart about Veterans Day as a holiday last Saturday. Well, it teach them glory days now. Okay, let's talk about um, last Saturday's um, Veterans Day. And I know it's a holiday, but last Friday's gonna be, you know who that's right, you know it happens. About, yeah, observation, yeah. All the veteran uh, VA hospital are closing. That's why my dad went to dialysis. dialysis. And I wake my dad and said, it's not. <laughs> It's, it's not it's not 10 30 30 and and that's why the phone ring says it's uh it's eight eight o'clock and he's supposed to be go go to dialysis for two hours and uh, that was late so who knows give some last but last Saturday it oh wow so I really really got up and get dressed and all that stuff stuff and my dad just come home after my after uh my dad went to uh uncle john's house for this haircut thing and this is a uh, this is what happens so it happens all all the time so i got myself a yeah a card the card uh va uh, that uh veteran day card and a pen that i was supposed to give it to my dad it's a, it's a it's a huge surprise, but somebody's got to do it. But but anyways, this is a kind of a whole mystery about these things, about all these things, about this you know who. Because my dad serves in a yeah in, in the army. And fought inside a, that a Vietnam War and got wounded and fought for freedom. And and that's why Ray Bass is another uh, veteran. And he and he knows of all those wars about this one. So so that's why I just said last couple of weeks about. The history of Veterans Day and um, serving the military and all that stuff. 
It's, it's going to be awesome. And that's why me and my dad went to Applebee's. And so was, so, so was Ray Bass as far as we're concerned. So, uh, so that means, you know, let me start again. Um, me, me and my dad and so is Uncle Ray went to Applebee's in Bellevue, Nebraska. And right, right close from, uh, you guessed it, that's right, mm -hmm. uh, Walmart. Because, and we got outside, we have a wonderful time. Inside and inside and look at, and look what happens. Oh, wow. There's so many veterans out there, out there getting in line, line and waiting for the table to, to be served. And um, and the waiter says it should be a uh, twenty or twenty five minute wait. <sighs> wait about this one. So so it's okay. So that means I was getting ready to sit down and sit down and so as so my dad has to sit down and do all that. And this lady says, and after a twenty five minute wait, it says waiting in this uh, booth. It says. Uh, which table is it? Table three, three of us. And there's a huge table right here. And uh, this one, oh boy. So this is why I got a huge menu about, about yeah, Veterans Day menu. And, um, and I uh, didn't even realize that, that you know, all that stuff about, uh, about getting orders, orders uh, for this certain, for this thing, this thing. And I meant to tell you this, wow, it's truly interesting about that as well. So here's my observation. So that's why me and my dad talk about all those wars in the Veterans Day day and all that stuff. So uh, about family life and all that stuff. And Ray Bass, yes, I know Ray Bass from at, at work years ago. Well, I got started 20 something years as a uh, volunteer housekeeper keeper in upstairs in the kitchen. Oh my God, this is gonna be worse. But but this time I'm still downstairs in the inside the ACC building. Uh, yeah, as a volunteer ambassador, doing uh, information desk and all that stuff. But enough of that. This is, uh, I, I, well, and I meant to tell you this is going to be outrageous. So, he, he, and he, so here's the subject about this one. And I know it's going to be interesting to see about this. Because we, um, me and my dad, and so Ray, just order, order some, order some drinks. So Ray ordered some water and my dad has cranberry. And I got passion fruit lemonade. Whoa. And I it's gonna be wonderful. Oh wow. So um so so and also we ordered some food from this Applebee's menu and I meant to tell you this it's gonna be outrageous. So I hope I hope you noticed but Applebee's yeah has been shut down, but you know 70 so uh, at a uh, Dodge Street Street, and that's why Applebee is still up in Bellevue, Nebraska. You know, Corn Husker Road, where yeah, where uh, Dodie and Janice and Dorsey Selden lives lives there. Hmm. So, so the people sat down and talk about talk about and reminiscing about this one. Walks of life from you know the Air Force all the way up to um, Navy, Navy, uh, you know, the branches and all uh, affiliated branches that people want, want to work and uh, all that stuff. So that's why I went to this, uh, you know, that's why I have a huge lunch, have a wonderful time, and my dad just gave me a popcorn, <laughs> popcorn shrimp. Oh, wow. This is gonna be work. This is gonna be wonderful. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> so, 
So that's why it happens that we have we have a we, we have a, such a wonderful time eating lunch at Applebee's. Yes. So I hate to say this, but I have a one big huge surprise because I got that uh, Veterans Day card and and so it's Veterans Day pin inside my pocket. So this is, this is what happens. A gift is a huge surprise. Surprise! And my dad says, oh, Larry, yes, yes. It is. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. So, uh, <laughs> wonderful. So, says, thank you. He is so proud of me when I'm doing all that. So, because life is a valuable lesson. If you are a veteran, and, you know, and you want to live all the, you know, branches and all that stuff. So it's, it's, it's so, it's, it's very proud serving in the military. And what branches, branch that we fought for or anything else. So that's, that's could be outrageous. This could be cool. So after lunch, it's uh, headed back to my hometown of Omaha. And I, my dad said, where you go? I got to go to Zozo Coffee House until closing time is, uh, starts. Then I'm going over to 13th Street last Saturday. So we have, we have such a wonderful time. And I have no clue whatsoever. So uh, you know why? So nice about this one. You can live without glory days without Veterans Day luncheon. So we can do it again next year. And then uh, thanks to Applebee's. We appreciate that thought that counts for this brave men and women who serve in the military. And that is why. You're listening to my Everyday Agenda podcast from Angel Song Productions. And for those of you watching on YouTube, this is why it could be the third, third installment of my Everyday Agenda pod, video podcast from YouTube. And um, it's going to be wonderful. So who knows? So go to YouTube.com and click on, yeah, yeah my name, LH Music. LH Music, and you can check parts to to uh, two episodes, video podcast episodes. This could be my third one on YouTube, YouTube, and um, take it from there. So who knows? Anyways, anyways, uh, trust me. Anyways, let's get started, shall we, with our next segment? All right, next. The history of Thanksgiving. If you've been so thankful for, why can't you do it?
Okay. So that is next. You know what next week is? Yeah, be Thanksgiving. And just before Christmas, and you know, and it makes a lot of sense about to be thankful for about all the joy and all that stuff. But did you notice that Thanksgiving is a national ho holiday celebrated for various days in the United States, and so is Canada, and so is the world that we live in? Because Thanksgiving has been, has been celebrated on the second day of October in Canada. But what about in fourth Thursday in the United States? Yeah, that's, that's one too. It has historical roots in religion and other cultural, cultural uh, traditions. And it has been, you know, it was a secular holiday as well. So here's the thing. Have you noticed that prayers of thanks and thank, special Thanksgiving ceremonies are in common for most religious religions, uh, you know, after harvests and other times of the year. And that's why thanks, Thanksgiving is a huge holiday for this, uh, you know, here in North America is in English, for this English traditions. And that's why the Protestant Reformation and also suspects, uh, you know, who Harvest Festival, even though the harvest in New England takes us back in the late, late, later date in November, could be the modern Thanksgiving is celebrating. But in this tradition, thanks, the days of Thanksgiving and special religious, religious services of Thanksgiving during the English Reformation of Henry VIII. And that is why before 15th and 30, 15th, 36, there are 95 church holidays. Oh my gosh. But what about Sundays? Sunday is it gonna be, you know, Christ the King Sunday or anything else? Could be 52. And that's why the people People attending attending church and forego work. And that is why inside this liturgical cal calendar to 27, there are 1536 reform reformations in the Church of England. What about, uh, you know, my Episcopal Church? Yeah, the Anglican Church for all holidays. Could be the Lord's Day or in the Pentecost or anything else can be civilized. So this is what happens. The holidays will be replaced by speci specially called the days of fasting and the days of Thanksgiving. But in response to this one, the Purit Puritans has been viewed as, you know, special providence. Could be unexpected disasters of threats of judgment and oh my gosh. You don't want to try this at home, haven't you? You know, in, in the special days, days of the special blessings comes from God. And it it has the days of Thanksgiving, which been absurd inside this Christian church services and other gatherings. Take this for example. The days of Thanksgiving were called, yeah, the following victory of the Spanish Armada back in 1588. And it delivered by the Queen Anne in uh, 1605. And it's an unusual day of Thanksgiving beginning in 1606. And that's why the following of, yes, failure of this gunpowdered plot. And it has something to do with Guy Fawkes Day in November 5th. But what about the days of fasting? Fasting, I get it. Back in uh, 1604 and 1622. But in the drought of 1611 and the floods, 1613, that is. Now, annual Thanksgiving prayers has been dictated inside this English centers. Safe landing in a, in a, you know, who, 1619. 
at Ber Berkeley 100 in Virginia. Now, if you want to talk about Canada, oh gosh, it says, oh, Canada, why do we hear this one? And you think it's so smart about Canadians celebrating, celebrating Thanksgiving. Because of some historians that the first Thanksgiving in North America back in 1578. And that's why Martin Frost from Fisher from England has been searched for the Northwest Passage. And the other researchers has been, yeah, there's no compelling narrative of the or origins of Ca Canadian Thanksgiving Day. And that's why they celebrating Thanksgiving Day in Canada. And it's traced by the French settlers in New France in the 17th century. But what about Nova Scotia in 1700s? And they did to other celebrations and around the world and the, you know all, all that. But in 1850. 59, the government of this, yeah, province of Canada has been declared Thanksgiving Day, which means all Canadians were asked to spend the holiday in public and solemn of recognition of God's mercies. Wow. Thank God Almighty for this Thanksgiving in Canada. Wow. But Here's the thing. If you want to celebrate how, uh, celebrating, yeah, Thanksgiving in the U.S., take for instance, all those colonies in 1619, there's our, you know, Commonwealth thing. And you know what that means. They're celebrating in the 1600s. Yeah, Pilgrims and Puritans. And that's why the day of fasting and day of Thanksgiving in New 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 in New England. And that's why the yeah, that's right. 1621 in Plymouth, Massachusetts, Thanksgiving has been prompt a good harvest. And several days of Thanksgiving could be history in New England. And that later, later in that time in New England, oh wow. Could be a religious Thanksgiving services has been declared by the civil leaders, such as Governor Bradford, proclaiming that Thanksgiving has been has to follow. Follow this in 1630. Could be the bloody victory, thanking God that the battle had been won. And so on and so on. Now, all those patriot leaders could be the proclam proclamation of a political influences. Uh oh. Well, who knows? Both state and church, church and state, inside of this revolution. And that is why during this revolutionary period, all those patriot leaders, such as John Hancock, General George Washington, and the Continental Congress, each in every single year, thanking God for these events. And as the President of the United States, George Washington has proclaiming the first celebration in America, marking its yet yeah, back in back in November 20, 26 of 1789. Quote this, as a day of public thanksgiving and prayers to be observed. That's right, observed served by acknowledging with grateful hearts with many as signal favors of almighty God and, uh, and calling Americans to unite in most humbly offering prayers and supplications to the great Lord and ruler of nations beseeching him to pardon our national and other transgressions. And you may not may not see that coming for the debates back in 1963. Three, John F. Kennedy acknowledges the Virginia and Massachusetts claims that Kennedy has been issued back in 1963. 
But some others could be observation around the world about this one. So who knows about this one? Now, to wrap this up, Thanksgiving has been celebrated the fourth Thursday. That is next Thursday, that is, in November. Take us back in time in 1941. This uh, due, due to federal legislation has been annual traditionally, yeah, that's right. That's right. The United States president, presidentially back in 1863 could be the, since about the founding fathers of the United States. And it traditionally becomes Thanksgiving is a celebration of the blessings. And why? Because the harvest of years to come. Because Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day is to share, uh, yeah, a family meal with, yeah, guess the turkey, mashed potatoes, pumpkin, pumpkin pie, macaroni and cheese, and uh, don't forget the gravy. Uh, <laughs> I know it. And other sporting events, such as um, NFL football, you can see it on Fox or CBS or anything on Civilized. But in this addition, get this, get this. You think you're so smart about, yeah, Thanksgiving celebrating public places such as, uh, yeah, M Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Oh, I bet all of you people want want to watch this in New York City. And what about ABC's Duck and Donuts? Yeah. Thanksgiving Day Parade in Philadelphia and other uh, public places such as, yeah, such as Chicago and New Orleans. And what, what do we call it? Yeah, it's the holiday season. Thank you, Andy Williams. Ger generally, yeah, begins with Thanksgiving season. With the first day after Thanksgiving is Black Friday. Oh, here comes the computers. Here comes the technology. As far as we're concerned, yeah. But nevertheless, about the history of Thanksgiving, but what about Cyber Monday? Oh, that makes sense to you for anyone who's civilized. And finally, as referred to Thanksgiving you to celebrate as a family meal, oh, here we go. The new tradition of 2010s, uh, to celebrating with a meal with friends. As separating, yeah, that's right. Uh, a day or alternative event, Thanksgiving. As referring to Friendsgiving. What is Friendsgiving? It has something to do with, with Thanksgiving. Well, all those millennials. That's what brought, brought things up. LA's music, don't you ever say that about friends giving. People giving things. Uh, uh, I get it. So that is why Thanksgiving is so much to be thankful for. And why? Because it pays to be nice to people or, or whatever. Uh, and that is why it happens in the centuries ago. And now you know it happens. It pays to be nice to people. Thanksgiving. So will you, whenever you call it, wherever you go, it could be Thanksgiving when lover is closing and all that stuff. So, or in civilized. So Thanksgiving could be thankful. Trust me for now. It happens.
You're listening to my everyday agenda podcast from Angel Song Productions. And so is YouTube. It's going to be video podcast. Podcast episode three. So who knows from YouTube? Okay. So uh, here's my observation for for this one that have has to do with the against the holidays. And um and I was wondering, so Saturday I got rehearsal for OSC's Christmas at the at the cathedral rehearsal. So what comes next on the list of things? Yeah, celebration of life choir. We got we got two rehearsals left left uh, for this weekend. And I know I gotta call Jackie for this one later on this week. But but you know, is a that gives me a huge idea to wrap around this because it have it has so much to do with uh, music and all kinds of stuff. And uh, whatever happens to this one, well, here's an idea. Oh, I got it! I get it. Why don't we just do a couple of Everyday Agenda podcast for the for the holidays? One is Christmas, and the other one is yeah, New Year's. So that means I can take a time out time out um, because because I know it could be the fall finale of my Everyday Agenda podcast. But don't worry, don't worry, I'll be back in. Uh, you guessed it. That's right. In January, late January, whatever it is. And um, that means Christmas and New Year's is over. It's done. But in the meantime, here's my observation for you. This is what happens. What happens? So that means we're going to do a little bit of everyday agenda po- holiday podcast. It's going to be one. It's going to be a, a guess that that's right. That's right. Um, you know what that means. We could do this for YouTube, but what about Spotify? As far as we're concerned, and um, <laughs> and I mean to tell you this, it's all good. Trust me, I know what we're doing. So we're gonna do a little bit of everyday agenda podcast for the holiday season, and why? Because. Um, it pays to be nice to people or whatever happens. So, who knows? Can we still nice about this one? About, you know, all that stuff. So, that could be awesome. So, we're going to do um, on the 20, uh, do this on the, you guessed it, on the 23rd of December. Just before Christmas Eve starts, Christmas Eve starts, we're going to do a very special Everyday Agenda holiday podcast. It's called Music of Christmas. It has something to do with, yeah, my Everyday Agenda up, uh, up to, so, and you know what I'm saying, doing Christmas at the Cathedral rehearsal at St. Cecilia's and singing with, uh, yeah, guessed it. That's right. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, celebration life for Yeah, Christmas changes everything. And uh, don't forget, and and don't forget you know you know who. That's right. That's right. It happens all the time. So, and I'm going to say this is going to be outrageous. So. Who knows about everything else can be civilized. So we're going to do a little bit of music and tell me what I've been up to or anything else can be civilized. That could be awesome on the 23rd. But what about on, on the 30th? Yeah, New Year's, just before New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, day comes, comes up with this. So we're going to do a, yeah, Everyday Agenda, Week in Review, Week in uh, Year in Review of 2022, 
of women up to for yeah season number two of my everyday agenda yeah <clears throat> and why because it has to be awesome trust me so what else can i say about this uh po couple podcasts holiday podcasts so it really flip your lid to it so that could be a sneak preview of these these two everyday agenda podcasts for the holidays one is christmas the other one is new year's so that could that could be wonderful and um we have to say it is yeah, it's gonna be outrageous trust me so cross your fingers this could be a huge awesome everyday agenda couple everyday agenda podcast specials for the holidays so i'll give you more information about this one so trust me about that it's gonna be on youtube and so is spotify as far as we're concerned so trust me i know what we're doing doing it so be sure you tune into that as well anyways it's my everyday agenda podcast from angels on productions and so is youtube for this and uh, for this video podcast as far as we're concerned so so here's my final thought about this one because I know hey, you had the at the end of the road about you guessed the do space sovereign sovereign eighth anniversary of this one. So it's gonna be wonderful and it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. Awesome uh last couple of weeks. And this is a yeah, Onyx 8. Could be a mixer. Because I'm not gonna be able to mess with this at all. Trust me. If you know if you know anything else, don't ask me. I have nothing to do with this. But we all learn about that as well. So, so you, you'd be able to use this audacity and uh, it has uh you know all kinds of stuff and all and all that stuff, all the setups and for the audio and take it from there. So trust me. I know what we're doing. So I'm not gonna be able to mess with this because it's uh, could be vibrating, 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 vibrating. Yeah, I guess. So uh, <laughs> this is gonna be <clears throat> awesome to do this. My Everyday Agenda podcast. And uh, I haven't heard this from Rachel inside this email thing about uh you guessed it about that podcast meeting thing well thing well you just had to trust me about this for us we concern about um what we're gonna do about this rachel podcast follow-up so uh, so here's the thing rachel i'll i'll be e emailing you Sometime, sometime next week or so, just before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving or before Christmas or or New Year's, whatever happens, so we can all be settling things up. Up, uh, things up could be I and I think I have and I have time to go to get ready to go to work on on the work, work days, so we can do this um, probably. Um, not next weekend, but the you know following weekend or anything else civilized, because I'll be busy doing OSC and so a celebration and all kinds of stuff that you ought to know by now. But <clears throat> it is what it is. So who knows who's so nice about this one? But for now, I'm taking yes, next week's off and others so if you want to do my everyday agenda if you listen to it just download the podcast and you yeah you had to listen to it as far as we're concerned and here's the website 
Everyday Agenda with LH Music dot podbean dot com, and you can download it right here, pod Podbean website, or you can or you can download from i iTunes, or should we say Apple iTunes, or iHeartRadio, or Google Play, or any podcast affiliates at a time of the, time like this. And you have to and you have to tell me what you think about that as well. You know what that means. So try it if you like it. If you must say so myself. And by the way, don't forget to Facebook and follow LH Music at Facebook.com and Twitter Erks website. Or should we say Instagram or brand new Instagram follow up of threads so should be fun as well as as far as we're concerned so i just say just do it as well okay okay Uh, enough of this one let's wrap things up shall we wrap things up shall we uh here we go let's let's wrap this up Thing that we all learn about it as far as we're concerned first that's uh this uh veterans day luncheon with me and my dad and so it's uncle ray it went wonderful and i have no idea what the atmosphere is it's gonna be awesome and all those veteran people who serve in the military and in, in their branches and military branches and all kind of stuff. So that, that, could, that could be awesome, you know what I'm saying? And what about this this history of, uh, you guessed it, that's right, Thanksgiving. We talk about this uh, religious things about in, in the U.S. and Canada and around the world about Thanksgiving and, and other uh, history things that you ought to know by now. But not in the reign of Henry, Henry the Eighth. As far as we're concerned, so you just trust me because uh, because I tell you one thing: Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is a national holiday. You can you can go to churches, family family things, and all that stuff. So who knows? Give some advice. But what about you, Elish Music? Well, uh, guess what? I got church service this Sunday, and so is after celebration like where. Me and Denise, here we go to this Thanksgiving dinner at, at Denise's church after Celebration Life for rehearsal is, is done. So who knows? Come so nice. <laughs> I know. And you might think it's so smart about Macy's Day, Thanksgiving Day Parade. Uh, no, I'm not going to be watching this. I'm sorry, the way it is. But who knows? Come so nice about this one. But uh, Thanksgiving is, uh, is next Thursday. I uh, couldn't be more proud of it as far as we're concerned. Now, what about uh, sneak reviews of my Everyday Agenda podcast for Christmas and New Year's? Yeah, I'll be talking about music for Christmas and a, week, week, a year in review, review and all that stuff. So that could be awesome. And guess what? Here's my life lesson. I'm not going to turn this thing on. I'm sorry. The way it is. That's all. But I use the audacity to do this. Trust me, as far as we can start, you know so. And uh, that's about it. Who knows? Anyways, I hope my dad calls me. And I take a look at this. Oh, gosh. I got to call my dad. After this every day, agenda podcast is over. It's done. Whatever. Anyways, because <laughs> like I said before, we got to, like I said, I got to go. Because I'm taking, uh, you guys to the... One next week, following week, and what about the third week and the fourth week, four weeks off? So, who knows? But don't worry, I'll be back for this everyday agenda. All day podcast specials is on, yeah, on the 23rd and on the 30th of December, just before Christmas Eve and before New Year's Eve, wherever it is. So, trust me, that's where it's going. And like I said before, go to go, go to my Everyday Agenda podcast website, Everyday Agenda with LH Music dot com, 
download the podcast from iHeart Radio all the way up to you know who. That's right. Uh, you know who. That's right. Google Play and all that stuff. Facebook and follow LH Music at Facebook.com and Twitter X.com and take my name. So next week, this could be the ball finale. You don't know what I'm talking about. So I'll be back in January 2024 for an all new effort, all new episode of my everyday agenda podcast. So it's been fun, but I gotta go. Until we meet again, LH Music is about to sign off. Go with God's blessings. We salute all of you, America, out there. Have a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving and a happy holidays from all of us here. And I'm signing off, and I'll see you, you guessed it, in January. Bye-bye for now. Everyday Agenda Podcast is a presentation of Angel Song Productions. That's all for, for now. See ya. Oh, boy. I hope you have fun as much as we all do. Trust me about that as far as we're concerned. I know. If you want to see my Everyday Agenda Podcast, if you know what I'm talking about. So you can see it on the video. It's, I, can, I can watch you right now. Right now. <laughs> so who knows who's the last. So we're going to do this again probably in January. If you know what I'm saying. Or we can do this on YouTube. Just before Christmas and New Year's. Whatever it is. For this podcast. As far as we can say. Anyways. Facebook and follow LHMusicFacebook.com and TwitterX.com slash LH Music and all the social media websites and all that stuff. So who knows? Anyways, have a wonderful Thanksgiving and then have a happy holiday as well, as far as we're concerned. And as always, LH Music is about to sign off. Good God, God's blessings. We salute all of you, America. And I'll see you soon, wherever I get time. Anyways, bye bye. See ya. <laughs>